This is a really weird experience. Yeah. I can't even tell yeah. you. Yeah. It feels so small uh -huh. and tiny to yeah. think that you would put a throttle down yeah. and that you would make Let this thing go. move and take yeah, off. That's right. Not knowing exactly it, where to look at. It feels uh, crazy. Yeah. It really does. I think it is a little bit. I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm left-handed, so yeah. I'm automatically looking at this. Yes. The motors. Yeah. That's right, yes, you recognize them. There are four, four motors, so uh, four different ones that you can activate independently. Uh, so in case you need, and you need to adjust uh, the motors, because if the batteries would have different levels, you may need to have different positions here and there to get the same power. Take off. Take off, you would apply full power. Full power. You slowly. Full. Okay. You don't have to go fast. Nothing has to be done in a fast way here with this airplane. So mm -hmm. you just uh, do it slowly up, up to the end. Then you would check uh, on the, these instruments there, which gives all the information about the, uh, the motors. You would check if you have the, uh, the right power. And if, if, all, if everything is green, like we say, mm -hmm. uh, so then you know that all the work orders are working very fine and that you can continue rolling and taking off. Take me through a little bit, take off. What would I be looking at? Which instruments would I be using? Where? Um, well, you would, you, would hold, you would hold the stick here mm -hmm. huh? uh, because the stick, the airplane is, uh, is held by one person who will run with you. As soon as you accelerate, you would let it go and you would do it by yourself. Okay. And you would control this. If the airplane banks to the to the right, you would take it a bit to the left and bring it back here. Uh, and this you get, you do it visually. It's the impression. You don't use so much the, uh, the instrument. If you would fly in clouds, you cannot know your position versus the earth. Uh, are you climbing? Are you doing a turn? Are you going down? And you need some, uh, something, uh, an instrument called the artificial horizon. And this artificial horizon is given here. So it's given here. This panel, exactly. And you have two again because you need redundancy. So these are again standard uh, systems that you can buy on the market. Well, what about this one? To me, that looks like um, a car radio when I'm driving yeah, my car. Yeah, but it's uh, the right to say to talk about radio because we have a radio here. It is a radio. Uh, but it's not only, it's a radio and a GPS. Mm -hmm. But it's a radio to listen and to talk. And to talk and to the mission the, control center. Yeah, exactly. That's a use for the ATC. And you have a second, second one uh, below, so we have two uh, in case one it fails. And also it's good to have two because you can listen to two frequency. Sometimes we have our team on one frequency and, and then we have the ATC on another frequency so we can listen to both. What about, I mean, I'm, I'm so amazed at how tight this space is. I mean, I mean, I, what, what's this actually? I've just found something. Yeah. It's probably worth telling me about, about this person yes. that's in the cockpit. Well, this is the, this is the, uh, the team. This is our team. Huh? You know, we have a big team to uh, prepare this airplane, to um, uh, make it ready on the runway, to, uh, to get it back when, when the pilot lands, uh, to prepare the airplane for flight. Uh, and the, uh, the, the head of this team is a gentleman which looks like a little bit like this. A little bit like nice this. Animal, exactly. <laughs> So that's, that's the symbol. So it's a little mascot that they stays They fly here. with us, so the team flies always with us in the, uh, in the cockpit. Clear for so takeoff. Have, have a good flight. Thank you. Huh? <laughs> Woo!